I thank the chairman very much, and I do want to express my appreciation when any witness comes to share with this uh, lawmaking body because we should be problem solvers. So let me thank all of you. Uh, I might say that I would uh, join with uh, the comments of uh, my colleagues uh, that uh, are here on this side of the aisle, and particularly my colleague from New Orleans for his pointed and very responsive questioning. Uh, but we should be doing criminal justice um, reform uh, that I hope that we will do. We should be doing uh, immigration reform, comprehensive immigration reform. And there is a point to the fact that there are cities around the nation uh, that may need, uh, as you said, uh, Mr. Horowitz, the clarification that I think your pointed Inspector General's report has offered us. And I think that's a solution. So let me first of all ask Ms. Gupta, thank you again for your service. I don't know where we'd be if we did not have the Civil Rights Division. And I thank you so very much. Have you made any pronouncement that New Orleans or any city in the state of Louisiana at this time is not eligible for federal grants? We have not. You've made no public statement. Let me uh, read very quickly into the record the genesis of the uh, Civil Rights Division coming to uh, New Orleans. Uh, this was a request by Mayor Mitch Landrieu, a uh, request of the U.S. Department of Justice to conduct an investigation. His quote is that nothing short of complete transformation is necessary and essential to ensure safety for the citizens of New Orleans. I believe that you are interested in the overall security and safety of all citizens or all individuals in New Orleans. That was a request made by the mayor. Is that my understanding? That's right. And, and the representative of the mayor, is that my understanding? That's correct. Thank you. I understand that you were looking at the use of excessive force, unconstitutional stops, searches and arrests, biased policing, in, uh, including uh, racial and ethnic profiling, a systemic failure to provide effective policing services, and systemic failure to investigate sexual assaults and domestic violence. Do you recall that, Ms. Gupta? That's right. You were overall dealing with the overall civil rights of that community. So the Inspector General offer three points that would help in Section 373. The clarification, I believe, uh, the, um, the requiring grant applicants to provide cert certification about their interaction with ICE, and then ensuring grant recipients clearly communicate to their personnel about 1373. Do you have any opposition to that? No. And would you be in compliance or intend to give some guidance uh, to that section? Yes, it's, uh, the reason why we made the revisions most recently was to clarify very clearly that, uh, that the policy complies with 1373, that, ICE officer, uh, that NOPD officers can share information regarding the immigration status of, a, of an individual with ICE, that there's nothing in NOPD policy that prevents officers from requesting immigration status from ICE as well. Uh, I just want to be very clear that there is no, there is no uh, uh, ban right now um, that you've offered and that you are not trying to block. Let me quickly ask this question. I'd like to yield to my colleague from New Orleans. Let me, can you tell me if the sentiment expressed by a chief manager and the policy of the major cities chiefs association, in particular people like Tom Manger, that policies like the one in New Orleans will enhance public safety, is that something you've heard from other law enforcement agencies? Ms. Gupta. Yes, thank you for the, the question, Congresswoman. Um, we have heard this from a number of leading law enforcement um, leaders, but also I think very importantly, the reason why this policy was undertaken was to help the NOPD fight violent crime. When we, in the course of conducting our investigation in New Orleans, we heard from any number of victims and, and witnesses who were afraid or refusing to cooperate with the NOPD, who had critical, vital information about crime uh, and, and that it was undermining the NOPD's ability to solve and prevent violent crime in those communities. Thank you so very much. I'm happy to yield to my distinguished colleague from uh, New Orleans, Mr. The gentleman from 